Hi there, this is Mar Haddad here again. In this lecture, I have to show you how you can install the Dude server on the, the Microtech router board and the Dude client on the PC, and then how this will work together in order to start seeing some information about your network on the Dude. So as you can see here, we have eight points to do, but before I start doing those points, let's go to the lab scenario. I will explain to you what is our scenario there and what we need to do. Then we come back to the points and start doing them. So this is our lab scenario. Actually, I have here a, a router, which is in hex S. And on this router, the architecture of this router is eligible to be able to have the dude server. So I'm just putting my PC via Ethernet 3 to this router board. And then this router board is connected to this router. Also, it's a Microtech router. And this router is connected to the internet. So the idea that I'm going to do is the following. I'm going to put the dude server on this router so i'm gonna install it there and then the client i'm gonna put it here and then afterward once the client and the server are installed then i'm gonna show you that on this pc you will see a map of what you see over here so you see this pc which is shown up here the dude server router and router one will be shown over here on the dude client Okay, now to be able to do this work, what I'm going to do, I'm going to do on the dude server here, creating a bridge interface. So in this bridge interface, I'll put this interface and I'll put this interface inside the bridge interface. So I put on here Ethernet 1 and here Ethernet 3 inside this bridge. And then this bridge will request for an IP from the DHCP server because this one has DHCP server enabled on it. So to be able to go to the internet, but also to receive an IP. So that means an IP from 172.22.0. something will be given to this bridge. Then in this case, this PC will have an IP of 172.22.0. something. And uh, also, of course, on this IP, it will have the same range of IP. And also this one would have the same range of IP. And then on the PC, I'm going to discover 172.22.0. So I'm going to make a scan on the dude to discover which of the equipment are on the 172.22.0. something. So in this case, the dude shows me the PC. It has to show me the dude server and it has to show me the router one. So this is the idea what we need to do. So again, this lab is just to show you how you can install the dude server and how you can install the dude client. What are the requirement that you need to make to able for the server to be installed. And then we create the bridge, we connect, and then we make scan to the network. And then we should see all the equipment on the dude uh, client. So this is what we are going to do in this lab. If you are ready, let's go now back to the points and start doing them. Point number one log to winbox and check what is the router board architecture remember we need to be having the architecture of the router board from the list that we have seen before so if you want i can show you here that uh, we have in the previous uh, lecture we have spoken about which of the architecture can have the dude server installed on and uh, these are those ones that uh, we have told that this list is able to have the uh, the dude server installed on it. So let's see now the router that I'm going to install the dude server if it's from this list of architecture. Let's do it. So we go here to Winbox and from Winbox, I connect to it. And let's have a look now which architecture it has. So we see here that it has the architecture M MIPS. Okay, you can see it from here, but also if you want, you can go to the system, you can go to resources, and here also it shows to you the architecture name M MIPS. So let's see if M MIPS is listed in uh, the list of uh, the ones that are uh, able to have the dude server. And indeed, you can see M MIPS is over here. So that means we can install the dude server on this router. And if you want, you can see that this router is in hex S. Okay, so uh, that's a small router where you can I can install the dude server. All right, point number one is done. Point number two, go to the Microtik website and uh, download the dude server package and the dude client. So uh, we need to download the server and uh, the uh, client. And uh, at this moment, I don't have internet, so let me enable my internet connection. And uh, yeah, so this is now enabled and what we need to do now we have to go to the Microtech website 
I go to microtech.com and from here we have to go to software and uh, first we need to install the server so the server will be shown based on the architecture name so you can see over here if we go down that uh, we have to look to the M maps so this is the M maps you can see it over here so this is the dude server and we have to take the one which is the stable this one so uh, M maps stable so this is the server I will just click on it to be downloaded on my computer all right so I will say save and now this is now downloading now the client, but before I move forward, you can see that the version is 6.46.4. Remember, this is the version of the Dude server. 6.46.4, that is now, that is the latest version. Now to download the client, you have to just scroll down here, and it is here. The Dude, you see, and also it is 6.46.4, and I will click on it, and I will say save. So both of the files are being downloaded on my computer. Now let's see if they are on my uh, desktop. So yes, I can see them. So this is, I put it here. This is for the servers. This is the server one. And this one is the client. And you can see 6.46.4, 6.46.4. So here, what we need to do is to check if our router is on version 6.46. Four because it should be on the same version as we are having here the dude server and the client so the router OS should be on the same version for this dude to be installed and working on your router board point number two is done point number three is the router OS version same as the dude if not upgrade the router OS to be the same version as for the dude so let's have a look we go to the router and uh, from here we'll see that the version is here on the router 6.42.9 so it's not 6.46.4 okay so what we need to do we have to upgrade the version of this router to be as the same as the dude that we have just downloaded all right to do that i need to connect this router to the internet and if we go back to the picture what i have done here i said that uh, this router over here, the dude server, is connected to router one. So this is connected to router one, and router one has internet. So what I and it has also the HTTP server enabled. So what I'm going to do, I'm gonna create a bridge interface and put inside of it Ethernet one and Ethernet three inside this bridge, and then I'm gonna say to for the DHCP server to give an IP to the bridge interface. Okay, because Ethernet one is inside the bridge interface. So that's what I'm going to do now all right let's do that we go to the server over here because i need the internet to be able to download and install the new version so this needs to be connected to the internet let's do it let's first create the bridge so i create the bridge here and we have to put in the bridge the ports we said internet one actually we can put if you want all interfaces that's fine for now so i put all the interfaces and uh, including Ethernet 1 and Ethernet 3. Now we got disconnected, that's normal. We connect again. All right, so now this is done. Now we need to go to IP DHCP client. And then from here, I have to make plus. And uh, we have to say that receive an IP from the DHCP server on the bridge one. And then I will say, okay, and look now, Okay, we are now connected to the internet. To justify that, we can go to the ping command and I will say ping google.com. And we see that we are now connected to the internet. All right, so now what I need to do is to install the new latest version, which is 6.46.4 on this Microtech router board. So to do that, we have to go to system and we go to packages. You can see now it is 6.42.9. If we say here to check for updates, directly to say to me the latest version is now 6.46.4, which is similar to the version that I'm using on the dude. All right, so I will say here, okay, that's fine for me. Download and install. All right, so at this moment, the version is being downloaded and it is rebooting to install it and then this router will be on the version 6.46.4 which is the same as the dude server and the client. Point number three is done. 
Bot number four, copy the dude server package to the router and reboot it. So now what I need to do is just to go to, uh, this is my router now. So I have the package, which is uh, over here. You can see that dude 6.46.4 and maps.mpk. I just move it and put it here. So it is copied inside the file list of the MyCritic router. And now what I need to do is just to go to the system after being copied and I have to reboot. And then I will say, okay. So now the MyCritic router has to reboot. And in a moment we should see that the, 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 the server package it's enabled and it is also showing up on the tabs for the mic to be able to make the configuration on that point number four is done point number five check if the dude is correctly installed on the router so the dude server we have to see if it's correctly installed on the router let's see now if the router is back uh, online so yes it is this is the one and i will go to it and here we go you see that we have now the dude is showing up over here this is the one and if we go to the system we go to packages also we can see that the dude is shown up over here it wasn't before we uh, put it in and uh, we rebooted the, the router so this package was not shown up before so now this server is uh, ready for me to start so now what we need to do is to install the dude client on my pc port number five is done port number six proceed by installing the dude client on your pc all right so let's do that i will go here this is the file that i have downloaded from my tech website and it's just a matter of uh, next 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 so you just say i agree here the dude and then you install it on the uh, program files and that's it so now it's completed so this is the only thing you need to do on your pc just to install the dude client on your pc port number six is done Point number seven, open the dude on your PC and connect it to the dude server. So now what we have is we have put the dude server on the Mikrotik router board. We have the dude client on the PC. Now we need to open the dude on the PC. So I will go to the start menu of my windows and I open the dude. So this is the dude. Okay. Now what I need to do here is just to put the IP address of the router. So the router, if we go to the router here, the IP address of the router that we have received from the DHCP is 172.22.0.251. Okay, so I just put here 172.22.0.251. The port is uh, 8291, so that's fine. Username and password, admin and no password. And then I will say connect. So now, it's saying to me dude not enabled you see down here it's saying that the dude is not enabled so there is a problem we have to go here to the uh, router and inside here we have to go to the dude and by default it's not enabled so we have to go again dude and then we go to settings and we have to enable the dude so we just say enable apply and okay and now we go back to here and now it's saying connecting you can see it's saying connecting we try again, getting stuff. Now it's showing me that it is getting stuff and here we go. So now it is connected. So up to now, the uh, dude is uh, running on my PC. Now we have to see what we need to do to be able to retrieve what uh, net network devices we have on our network. Point number seven is done. Point number eight, scan the network of 172.22.0.0 slash 24 and you have to see if you receive the full hardware list so again if we go back to the picture so 172.22.0.0 is uh, this router router one and also on this uh, interface this is uh, it has an ip like this so this router the dude and this pc so that means that i want to scan this network 172.22.0.0 it should show me this device this device and this device and that's on the dude client so let's do that we go to the dude client and from here i will say i want to scan 172.22.0.0 and then i will say here discover so you will see that it's now scanning you can see it's moving forward scanning all the ip address of this range and in a moment we should see the uh, router one which is uh, the router where uh, the dhcp and the internet is uh, provided to the dude and then we have to see the dude server and we have to see also 
my PC. So I did this first one, did this router one, and did this the dude server, and did this my PC. You can see directly the dude has discovered this for me, and that's a very nice uh, tool that uh, Microtik they have done that you can have all the network devices that you have scanning them and then it will show it for you on the map and then what you need to do is to just connect them correctly as they are connected point number eight is done and uh, before i finish this lecture let's go back and see if uh, the scan has been finished so it's still moving but of course i don't have more than uh, those devices so those are the devices that i have of course now this uh, work has not uh, finished yet so we are just on the first uh, level now what we are doing so uh, later what we can do we can connect them we can change the name we can change the picture we can put the links we can do a lot of things and that's something i'm gonna cover in uh, this uh, course so this is what i wanted to show you for now it's just to how to install the dude server and the, the dude client and uh, what are the uh, requirements that you need to check if the version of the router os is similar to the version of the dude server and uh, for this to work and then you have to install it on the, the router board and you have to remember to enable the process of the dude on uh, the server in order for the client to be able to communicate with the server and then i showed you how you can scan then it will show you the devices that are on your network. So this is what I wanted to show in uh, this lecture. Again, this is just the uh, first entry lecture about the dude. The dude has a lot of things that we are going to cover in uh, this course. So for now, I hope that this lecture was informative for you and I will see you in the upcoming lecture.